Ibrahim came. Ibrahim. Ibrahim. No, Ibrahim, Ibrahim. Before him was Islam. Yeah. No, no. Islam was even before him. No, Israel. Ibrahim. Even before Israel. Before him, Islam. Yes. Islam was even before any of the names that you mentioned. Islam is the religion, the way of life that was given to the first man that God created, Adam. Salam, and Allah, you know, peace be upon all the prophets of God. From him, the progenies, Ibrahim salam, Isa salam, Jesus Christ, and so on. Muhammad salam, is the final prophet and messenger. That's the difference. He came to complete the religion of Islam in a final form so that you don't need another prophet and another messenger to come after him. That's maybe. I know your Quran must be saying that. I respect that. No problem with that. The knowledge what I have, what I understand through my reading, in this valley civilization, Hinduism came first. Which Hinduism came out of? Vedas. No Hinduism, Vedas. After that, many centuries later, Abraham came. Abraham, from him, Islam came. And then Jesus came. So there's a are you aware of that conflict? Can I, can I just ask a question about yeah, that? Yeah. So you're saying Hinduism chronologically came before? Hinduism, uh, Vedas came the most earliest. Hindu Valley civilization, Vedas came the earliest. Okay, so what did they believe? They believed in... Uh, what, do you mean, uh, what did they believe? They believe in... Uh, when they came, they believed in... Uh, Worship of animals, which was not taught by certain uh, religious facts. Worship of animals, and you know, of course, love for everybody. What, what, Wasn't there the idea of worshiping God alone in ancient Hinduism? I'm just asking our curiosity. There wasn't one God. God, God was in every every animal, fire, wood, sun, everything. That was the way it came earlier. So, my question is, I've heard this, I just want to look, yeah. I'm assuming you're yeah, Hindu. Yeah, yeah. Are you Hindu? Yeah, yeah. Okay. My understanding is, Hinduism... I'm a Buddhist. You're Buddhist, okay. So, my understanding is, Hinduism, it wasn't really a religion until much later, during the time of the British or around thereabouts. Never, never, never. Never. Much British, just, uh, nothing. Much way before. I'm getting confused. After, Are you no, speaking no. about Buddhism or Hinduism? No, no, Buddhism came out of Hinduism. Buddhism came out of Hinduism. Okay. Hinduism came out of Indus Valley. Vedas, out of Indus Valley, Vedas came. The Vedas gave birth to Buddhism. Okay. Vedas. But, so, does... Rig Veda. Okay. Will you make disagree about the historical, chronological order where they came from. We believe the first human being, like Mansur said, was given Islam. However, whether something is older or younger, it doesn't affect the truth value. Yeah, it doesn't. Because in fact, the matter is, what we in Buddhism say, I, I'm not going to forget the history, forget it. Sure. Your Quran says, my uh, Gita says, or maybe Bible says something else, forget that. What I'm saying, the power of Nam Miho Renge Kyo, when you do that, you say the word Nam Miho Renge Kyo, and I'm sure Quran in Muslim, certain words as well. It's a rational way. If you saw the effect now, you will see the results of that in front of you right now. You say the word, you remove the bad karma in your life, and you will get the effect of whatever you okay, wish so, for. So just before I do anything like that, yeah. In Buddhism, what do you believe about God? Because before I look at and practice, I have to look at theology, what they believe. What do you believe exactly? Okay, now, I am... There are many kinds of Buddhism first. Right. Many kinds of Hinduism, many kinds of Muslim also, right? Yeah. So, I am... I believe in Nam Myorangyo, which is uh, done by a Japanese uh, monk, Richard in Daishin, in the 18th century. 19th century, sorry. 1856. Uh, so, he, he believed what other religions also, I'm sure, believe in. God is in everybody, Buddha is in everybody. You gotta respect everybody. You gotta respect, love everybody. You don't know, no disrespect to nobody. You, if somebody hates you, it's not because they hate you, because you direct the environment around you. 
How you okay. respect? How you sure. treat people? I'm, I'm still a bit. If I'm aggressive, you'll be aggressive no, back. No, no, no. That, that's about yeah. normative ethics. Yeah. We're not talking about how you behave. Yeah. We're talking about theologically. Do you believe God is in everything? Buddhism, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. We believe God no. is not in everything. We believe God created everything, but God is not inside the creation. Like, what makes you think like? That tree, is, does that tree have God inside it? Buddhism believes, uh, the, our, what I follow, mm. so people have every, every living person, living thing has God in it. But Buddhism originally, under Lord Buddha, says God is every sentient or non-sentient thing. Sentient, non-sentient means non-living. Yeah? Okay, so just a question on that. Yeah. Sorry, what's your name? Aditya. 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 Aditya? Aditya. Aditya. So uh, the question to you, my friend, is, before the universe, if the universe is God, then where was God? Because there must have been a point that the universe didn't exist. So if God is in everything, how can there be a point in which there was no God? What they are trying to say, God is the universe. Everything in the universe is God. What is yeah, but God? The, but the God, God is not a person. Sure. A so, sorry, sorry to interrupt, but yeah. the universe had a beginning. Yeah. God doesn't have a beginning. You see? Buddhism, the universe never, never was a beginning. It's the birth and rebirth. It's from all time ages to come. It's always there. It was never not there. The universe was always there. But you know, philosophically... There are different forms. Sure. But philosophically, it doesn't make sense that the universe always existed. Philosophically, that's an absurd idea. Maybe about 5,000 years from now, when you're... Successors see this universe, they will see a different prism. Everything will be different, yeah? It won't be the same what we see now. Look, but scientific so, progress yeah. or our successors, they don't change fundamental facts about metaphysics. These are facts which, from the ancient Greeks to today, we agree. They give it a wall with artificial intelligence coming in, everything coming in, everything will evolve. New ideas will come, metaphysics, things. But what I'm trying to say, okay, so let, let, my let, point let, is forget the history. But can I, can I make I a small should, point? Can, can I make yeah. a small point? One plus one is two yeah. is a mathematical yeah. and a philosophical fact. Yeah. It's a philo philosophical and mathematical yeah. fact. That will not change no. due to future technology. No, Do you no, agree no. with me? I agree. Yeah. So, Likewise, the idea that the universe always existed is philosophically absurd despite the technology of the uh, future. Do, do you know you why? Do you, do you know why? When Richard Buddhism say the universe started from the, the, the mantra, the chant, Nam Miho Renge Kyo. The universe started. Yeah. If you say that, the proof for the pudding is the pudding itself. What is the pudding here? If you say that word, the more times you say it, you will see the effect. Now, it will effect, you will see the result in front of you right away. You think, ask for something, say the chant, and you will see the result. You go into this. You know what I'm talking about. But what the problem I have with that is every religion will claim the same thing. What? So you'll have, for example... Save for five minutes. No, no, no. We'll save for five minutes. No. Forget it. Okay. Uh, they don't say no, it. They don't. Don't. Okay, but I just want to give you a small example. In our theology, we believe the effect of something does not lead to the truth of that thing. I'll give you an example. We as Muslims, we believe in the Antichrist. Yeah what's known as Dajjal or Antichrist in Christianity. Yeah. He will tell the sky to rain, it'll rain. But just because he has supposed power doesn't mean he's God. So even if I say this chant of yours, it doesn't lead to the truthfulness of Buddhism. Do you see? Fair enough, then we can always contradict each other's theories. Then, no, you will have your own theory, I will have my own theory. Can no. you clarify one thing? Though, did the universe have a beginning, start, or did it always exist? Always exist. Always was. So when you just said it had, had a start, no, no, it started from Namya Rangyo here. We were always there, always were different form. At one point, it started from Namya Rangyo here. We always was there. Time if it was, was time, always there, then the question of start doesn't time, make any sense. Time without beginning. The universe is always there. And is God that universe? Sorry? Or is the creator of the universe? God according is to the universe. Hmm? God is the universe. God is the universe. Yeah. So God is the universe. He was always there. Yeah. And he has different volition. Form. Sorry? He has will. Did he will for that transformation to happen? 
I cannot answer those questions. What he will, I'm not God. No, no, I'm asking you to answer. I am God. You are God. I'm answering. I'm asking you to answer yeah. on behalf of God's guidance, Scripture, Revelation. That's where this matter will be settled, right? Without any kind of dispute. So, what does God say in Buddhism in terms of this issue? Does He have a will? What is it? Does God have a will? Did He will? For the transformation of the universe to be like this did he will for the cycle of life and death and rebirth and regenerations reincarnation did he will okay, now uh, or is it beyond Buddha, Buddha his my, ability no, no, and will no, Buddhism I follow has not gone into history talk about the, all this talk about the Buddhism you follow yeah so we haven't got into specifics of all this Buddhism I follow talks about there will be a Latin way of the law which is now where everybody will if you will go for each other, there will be malice, hatred towards each other. Nobody will like, no love. So you got to spread the Buddhist ideas amongst people, which is saying, respect everybody around you, is and a, greet the, everybody. I understand. With full I understand. Respect. Each and every there, person is so the, important for you. Fundamentally, there's a problem there. It's like um, I would no disrespect to Tablighi Jamaat, right? You can have a program of reform of some kind, yeah. of reform. Bringing people in the masjid, bringing people in, yeah. and no enmity, no hatred. Yeah. But fundamentally, you have to deal with some fundamental questions. The question I asked you about, does God have a will? Did he will this universe to have a cycle of life and death? Rebirth and regenerations and so on and so forth. Or is that beyond him? Did he apply the karma in this universe or karma is independent of him oh interesting that's that's a, that's a good question yeah, good question. karma look, like i said i have no specific of how the universe came into the birth and all that stuff that which is Dashim doesn't talk about it so it's not really a guidance for humanity it's only solving a particular it's only trying to solve certain aspects of human problem which is people are having greed and enmity and hatred and fire. Can, can I, can, so sorry to interrupt. His question I think is very important. Could you just rephrase that about karma? Yeah, yeah. Because in, in Hindu Sanatan Dharma, in Sanatan Hindu Dharma, answer that question. I can't. Yeah, in Sanatan Dharma as well as in Buddhism, the idea is there, there's karma there. The karma is some kind of uh, a law that exists in which what you sow is what you're going to reap. Yep. So whatever you do, you but will see the consequences. Exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. Where did that law come from? Did the law exist independently? You're talking about law, yes, remember? Yes, yes. Is this law applied independently without an applier? Someone who applies it? Is it independent of God? Is God independent of karma? Or did he instill and instigate the law of karma? Buddhism and Hinduism, as far as I know, doesn't talk about God applying and instigating no, no, and say, no, karma. Buddhism, Buddha, karma, I'll answer the question. Karma. Buddhism says, like God is in everybody. We create our own karma every day. I walk out of my house, how I speak to you, I shun you. When you talk to me, I say, sorry, I gotta go away. That's my karma. I ignore you, I shun you. It's a bad karma. So when you say the Namya Rangi got the chant, you remove the bad karmas in this world, open the path for you, spiritual path for you, to move ahead. I will study a lot, a lot, a lot. I won't be able to go through my exams. The other guy next to me sitting will study a bit. But he gets through faster than me. Why? So his karmas are working for him. Mine are not. The spiritual, again, your spiritual is through Islam. You're explaining the process. I'm, I'm trying to understand the principle behind That's the right. process. For example, we have something called the laws of entropy. Uh, one second, one second. Okay, one second. I've got five minutes. If you don't no problem. Sure, sure, sure. I, I will leave in five minutes. No problem. So, nice if talking. you come back again, we can continue the discussion. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no problem. I've been coming here for many years, so I expect to come in future if no, God no, no, gives no. me the health and, and the life and so on. Yeah, so really, right. Definitely. No problem, Aditya. So there is something called the laws of entropy. Everything goes towards disorder. Now, it's something that we have to ask. Where does that law come from? Why is there this law that everything is going to disorder? Who put it there? Just like we have in our cells, I was speaking to a gentleman earlier called Peter, program cell death. In our DNA, there's a program that cells should die. It just, it didn't, it, it didn't just happen. Cancer. There is a program that is there. Cancer. A program by a programmer, a designer. 
So if there is a law of karma, is God the one who instigated or applied? Because Hinduism, as far as I know, Sanatan Dharma, as well as Buddhism, they don't talk about where karma comes from, who is the one in control of karma. That's the problem. In Islam, are, Aditya. Are, are. No, 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 no. I'm saying are. the principle. The laws of physics, for example, where did they come from? No, 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 Aditya. No, 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 listen to me, listen to me. Listen to me. No, 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 listen to me. The laws of physics is there being applied in this world. Yeah? The laws of physics are being applied. That's why we're able to make a jacket and your phone and so on and so forth. Without that, we're able to. The question is, who put the laws of physics there and who is applying it? Likewise, karma. Do you have anything from the Buddhist scripture saying, I am the owner of karma. I am the designer of karma. I am the one who put the karma as a law. I am the consequences of karma. I'm consequences. Getting 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 consequences of karma. And the consequences. This consequence, and the consequences, this consequences, consequences, yeah. Consequences, you are the, in Buddhist scripture, what says, there's no one person who's saying that. Buddha is not sitting there, I'm the, I'm the one who started. Karma is in you. You are the one creating your karma every day. Every minute, every time. He says, don't take me as God. Can I stop doing no, the karma? No, no, let, let me finish that. He says, don't take me as God. Okay. You are better than me. You're God. God is God. You will discover yourself. Don't go by what I say. Don't read my scriptures. Follow. How did I come into being? Because I, I discovered it myself. You are better than me. Work at it. You will discover better than me and you will be better than me. Can I stop applying karma and say karma law doesn't exist? Mm, sorry? Can I stop? Can I go against karma? Why not? You can. So the karma is not... You can go, go against am I doing all the wrong things in the world? No, 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 no. If I do wrong, yeah. my consequence is not going to be good, right? Definitely not. That's the law of karma. Yes, yeah. Now, can I stop that law of karma? Like someone does wrong and nothing happens to him. Good things happen to him. The opposite. Yes. Yes. I, 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 I don't believe that should happen. So I won't so, try it. So I, won't, now, I won't risk so you're, it. I won't risk it. It's not risking it. So now you realize, you understand that there is this law, is a universally applicable law, independent of God. So That's what, the problem. So what you're trying to say is, <laughs> what you're trying to say? In Islam, God is in control of everything. He is the one who gives laws and puts laws so, and applies laws. So when you say karma, so if I, if I go murder somebody, nothing will happen to me. That's what you're trying to say. Worst case scenario. If I'm a thief, I'm a murderer, I'm a dog, a dog, a dog, you know. But in your next life, something will happen to you, right? Huh? You no, can no. get away in this no, life. No, 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 this life. Buddhism says this life now. You, you will get the consequences. You will get consequences. What do you do? Nothing. Forget about the next life. So every murderer is punished. In this life. We yeah. see many murderers not being punished. So yeah. Buddhism has a yeah. theology which is not really practical yeah. because yeah. there are many criminals. They commit crimes and they get away with it and they die like kings and wealthy and rich. It's reality. There are many Brazilian drug lords, they kill so many people and no one can touch nice them. Retirement. And they have a nice retirement. What sickness they have. Can I just say one thing? Family suffering, wives, children, Look, dying, suffering. You know, suffering. Newton's laws, yeah. we can use them, we can harness them to go to the moon or do different things, design vehicles. He's asking, where did the laws come from? You just keep just I, I, I know, Lord. Yeah. I got this point. I'm thinking, again, I've answered that three, four times also. Again, last time, before I leave, I'm going to ask. Because you're, yeah, yeah. The, the leave speak. when you have to, right? Yeah. We're not, we're not yeah. stopping. Yeah. Leave when you have to. Dachshund doesn't speak about okay. where it came from. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't speak about that. Buddhism speaks about it. Uh, Hinduism speaks about it. Which yeah, resulted in Buddhism. And Buddhism came to India, went away from India. Then this guy in Japan started teaching Dashini. So he doesn't speak about Rig Veda, speak about, he says, came from Shiv, God, came from Ram, Bhagavan, you know what? But, I, but you know, I think Ram. the issue here is theology comes before ethics. You are trying to speak about ethics without theology. You know, yeah, they're, linked, they're linked to each other. Yeah, we're talking about different aspects, I'm talking about different aspects. So that's why. No, but we're saying your aspect, our friend, is missing the background information. Give me the background information. Nichin Dashirin came from Buddhism. Buddhism came from Hinduism. Hinduism came from Vedas. Vedas answer this question for you. So, uh, Veda yeah. does not even answer the question who created this universe. It does. It does. No, no, no. It came from the, from I can, the I can. theory of Shiv, Shiv, Shiv God. No, no, no.
I won't read it because in my religion it teaches me not to take on the practice of another, but I want to read where it came from. We appreciate what, good things in other scriptures. Yes. 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 We Buddhism, appreciate. Buddhism doesn't say not to practice. It says you can practice what you want. Yeah, I, I'm a Hindu, <laughs> but I can believe in Buddhism. I can practice. My Muslim and Christian friends also do Buddhism. So Buddhism is nothing conflict with nobody. It's not a religion, by the way. It's a faith. Buddhism is a faith. But it's, it's Islam is, ex ex yeah, uh, is a religion. Islam is a religion. Yeah. In the fall, the first step is religion. From there, spirituality is the most important thing. Spiritual, spirituality where you don't believe in. This actually is the path of spirituality. You I think believe? that's a false dichotomy. You I think they're linked. You, you, don't, you don't believe in that? No, I believe there's a false dichotomy Buddhism between spirituality, spirituality and religion. Islam has spirituality so, as well the practical yeah, aspects of our life. Both. Yeah. And the physical aspects of this yes, world. Yes, that is why it makes you step towards spirituality. Buddhism, what I'm talking about naturally, is only spirituality. So this would be my first stepping stone to spirituality. Read it then, perhaps you'll find the spirituality the Quran offers is the spirituality that should be appealing to you and your heart. All the aspects well, you're, you're, you're having a very nice conversation with yeah, you, you're yeah. very open-minded. Yeah. Nice anyway, we're yeah. just speaking yeah. to Aditya and then we'll speak again another time. Thank, Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. No, 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 he's going to yeah, say yeah, yeah. I won't read it right now. That's okay. Keep it with you, sir. Keep it. I'm going to come back. Some will come back. That's okay. That's okay. See you next time. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Take care, take care.